Hello, how are you all? Hope you're all doing good. Good. So you must have read or heard many stories about kings, haven't you? So do you know who is a king? A king is a man who rules his country. He is very rich and lives in a palace. He gives orders and sees that there is peace and discipline in his kingdom. Well, nowadays there are no kings, but way back in the olden times there were kings and queens and they were called majesty. There were good kings and bad kings. And today's story is about a king who was really nice to his people. He was a kind king and he wanted to get his portrait made. Hey, what is a portrait? A portrait is a drawing or a picture or a painting that is made with colors. I love making portraits and I'm sure you love making portraits too. So let's get started and read about the king's portrait. The King's Portrait Once there was a kingdom ruled by a kind king. Look, this is the king's palace. But the king had only one eye and one leg. One leg and one eye. His palace had beautiful portraits of his ancestors. See, these are the portraits. And ancestors are people who are part of your family, like your grandfathers, your forefathers, your great-grandfathers. They are your ancestors. All his ancestors who ruled his kingdom before him. Alright? So, the kind king wanted a beautiful portrait of his too. But he felt that no one could make his portrait beautiful. Why did he feel so? Just like I told you, he had one eye and one leg. So he really got upset, thinking that how will my portrait look beautiful? One day, the king announced a big reward for making his portrait. He thought that if I will announce that whoever makes a beautiful portrait of me will get a reward. When do we get a reward? Whenever we do something good that is told us that has been told us to do, we get a prize. When we win a competition, we get a prize, right? So those are our rewards. But no one came forward to draw the portrait. No one had the courage to draw the king's portrait because they all thought that how will his portrait look beautiful? Just like the king thought, the king was disheartened. The king got very sad. Finally, an old painter agreed to make his portrait. See, this old man, he's a painter. He has brushes in his hand. He said to the king that I will make your portrait. The old painter drew the king's portrait. The king was anxious and so were the courtiers. The king was very curious. He was excited and so were the courtiers. Who are courtiers? Courtiers are the people who are members of the king's court. Just like in our country, you see, like our country is led by a prime minister and there are so many other people working for him or with him who help him to do his job, the other ministers and so many other people. So just like that, the same way, the king also had many people in his court who used to help him to take important decisions or to plan anything, just to tell him and to say okay to whatever he does all right so they were his courtiers everyone in the palace was curious 
Everyone was excited just like the king. When the old painter revealed the portrait, everyone was amazed. Everyone was super surprised. But why? Let's see. The king was sitting on a horse showing only one leg. His one eye was closed while aiming the arrow. Okay, so could you see that? Can you see that? See, the king has a bow and an arrow in his hand. He is aiming towards something with his arrow and he is sitting on a horse where only one leg can be seen. Wow! What a smart painter this old man is. He showed only the positive sides of the king. See, isn't that great? The overwhelmed king rewarded the old painter. The king got super happy, very, very excited. And he rewarded the old painter because he actually made the king's portrait beautiful. So the moral of the story is, look at the positive side of every situation. So every situation that comes in our life, we must face it with positivity. Just like this lockdown, many of you must be thinking that this is so terrible to sit at home. We can't go out to the park or to the mall. We cannot go to school or meet our friends. But hey, let's be positive. We never got time to spend with our mommies and daddies before in our daily lives. Itna time to nahi milta tha na? Yes, so here it is. Let's play some games, dance with them, help them in some work, ask them to help you in your homework. Alright, and you will see that these moments, this time will become memories for you later on. You will miss this time and I bet you. Even in bad situations, just trust God and see the positive side of that situation. Even if you see, like, just imagine, you need to go out somewhere, you go out of your house, you see that a tire of your car or your bike is flat. You'll regret. You'll feel sad that, oh, that will take time or we can't go now or things like that. But hey, just remember one thing. Maybe whatever happened was for your good. See the positive side of it. Alright, I hope you've understood. And now, let's give it a wrap. I gotta go and I'll go get you a good nice story next time again. See ya.